In part three of lecture three, we will take a look at the basic concepts of digital video. When we talk about digital video, what we mean is a moving image that is stored using ones and zeros to indicate the color and brightness of frames, which store both the images and sounds. The process of storing this information is very similar to storing the data for a series of bitmap images. Here too, the color of each pixel is represented and saved as a binary number. As we have moved away from older technologies, such as film-based movies, VHS videotapes, and other sources, it can be helpful to know that we can convert them to modern digital formats. The processes of converting to these new formats is called digitizing. In the old days of film-based movies, cameras were considerably larger than still picture cameras. That's not necessarily the case these days. While there are many people who use camcorders, a camera for recording videos, it's not the only way to record this. If your computer has a webcam, which is a small camera and a microphone that can fit on top of your monitor, you can use that. And you can also record videos with the camera app on a smartphone or on a tablet. Digital cinematography is fairly recent. The first movie filmed digitally was Wind Horse in 1996, and the first movie that used high-definition digital cinematography was Star Wars Episode I, The Phantom Menace, in 1999. Digital video doesn't require film. It can be stored as bits. Digital video is a core technology that is used in digital television, video conferencing, and video messaging. We have known for over a century that the eye can process and perceive motion with as few as 13 images per second. The movie industry has traditionally used 24 frames per second. For this reason, YouTube videos typically use 24 frames per second. The human eye can detect the difference between 24 and 60 frames per second. Thus, this higher value makes movement look more fluid. The number of frames per second is only one factor that determines the quality of a video. Resolution is also important, which is usually expressed by the number of pixels across the height and width of the screen. Digital cinematography cameras use a resolution of 2040 times 1536 pixels. This is referred to as 2K because the horizontal resolution, the number of pixels across the screen from left to right, is approximately 2,000 pixels. Vertical resolution refers to the number of pixels from the top to the bottom of the screen. This is most commonly written with a P at the end, where the P indicates the monitor uses a progressive scan. That means that each frame is drawn line by line, with all the lines drawn in order from the very top to the very bottom without skipping a single line. This differs from an interlaced scan, where the image is created by drawing every other line, and when it gets to the bottom of the screen, it goes back and draws in the lines omitted by the previous pass. This technique is called interleaving, and a monitor using this is performing and interlace. Digital video generally uses progressive scan, while digital television uses interlaced scanning. This slide shows you the practical difference between the two. Let's say that a picture of this balloon uses five rows of pixels. In a progressive scan, it will scan rows one, two, three, four, and five in that order. In an interlaced scan, it will scan in the order one, three, five, two, 
and 4. If it is redrawing your screen quickly enough, you should not be able to tell which one it's using unless you see the word 1080p or 1080i. They both indicate 1080 rows of pixels, but they will differ based on the order in which the rows are redrawn.